Yo, what's up guys? We're back for another live in the RU tier today, being our Thursday episode. Normally this would go up on Wednesday, but of course I explained in earlier videos that I didn't really have time to get a UU video out on Tuesday. So everything's pushed back a little bit again because of the PWM schedule. It's not too big of a deal because we're not having a PWM game this week, so... Built this team really quickly, we did get reset in points, so I'm at the very bottom of the ladder, but in RU there are a lot of very competent players. Not a lot of um, low tier players stay stick to R the RU tier, you'll find most in the OU tier obviously, because it's the most popular one, so still decent, we're still getting decent games, uh, I actually only have one game, but uh, it was pretty good. But I built this team really quickly on the fly, and um, you know when you build a team, and it just feels good, and it looks good, and everything feels like it meshes well. Well, that's what this team is for me. Like, I literally just had one game, and I feel like everything is perfect. So, we've got a, um, a utility you see here with Stealth Rock, Psy Shock, Thunder Wave to slow down Pokemon for Embor and uh, Glalie and Escavalier so that they can knock them out. Uh, U-Turn, obviously, to gain initiative. Then we have a Scarf Tyrantrum. Head Smash is just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, coming off of uh, Rock Head, you don't take any recoil, so this thing is really, really nice. We actually have three Pokemon that have recoil moves on this team, so you guys will see them a little bit later. But our next Pokemon is Alamomola here with Scald, Wish, Protect, and Toxic. Your standard physically defensive Alamomola set with Regenerator. Of course, this thing takes physical hits forever. It's up against a bandage, Ichino, I was taking 50% from all 5 hits of uh, Bullet Seed and just gaining back health with Wish Protect. That's how my last game went. Then we have uh, Embor over here, which uh, actually, let me let me see something really quickly. 251, okay, so it still doesn't outspeed Specs Explod, I don't believe. So we'll put the uh, plus in attack. But anyway, this thing does a lot of damage as well with Reckless Flare Blitz. This is basically the Staraptor of the tier. Really, really good. Then we have our Glalie over here with Double Edge Ice Shard. Freeze Dry to hit things like Alamola and Spikes to couple with Uxie Stealth Rocks. We don't have Hazard Removal on this team. We don't really need it though as uh, Mega Glalie is the only Pokemon that has a uh, two times weakness to rocks. And then finally we have an Assault Vestus Cavalier which takes hits very very well on the special side. Even without any investment this thing hits something like 340... Uh, 340... Nine? No, more, it's more than that. It's like 360, 370 special defense. So, really, really good Pokemon. Megahorn, Iron Head, Pursuit for Trapping, and Knock Off to hit uh, pretty much anything in the tier, really. Really nice Pokemon. If you guys don't watch the GBA, uh, John, aka Pokemon, has... Uh, has a an Escavalier on his team, and every every week he uses knockoff to get rid of a Rocky Helmet. It's really funny. It's like it's been like three weeks in a row. It's a, we're on week four though, but he went three weeks consecutive, knocking off a Rocky Helmet. So we're gonna try to get a game right here. I don't know how long it's gonna take. I don't know how many battles there are. Let's actually check that out. Let's see. Uh, active battles, CRU, and uh, there's 14 games, so that's not too bad. And they're all pretty low tier, so we shouldn't have a problem getting one. And there we go. Except this guy has an Ambipom and a an Absol. Well, I'm not losing points. We're going to play this. Uh, it's probably Fake Out plus... Um, fake Out plus Last Resort, I would assume. Um, I'm actually just going to lead with... Hmm. Tyrantrum? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Do it. Let's go for Super Power. Knock this thing out. And then knock out his Ambipom. And we'll end the game right there. So that'll be our first battle. Then we're going to have two more. No, I'm kidding, guys. I won't count this one as a battle. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. I didn't even realize I had superpower on this set, but uh, it's really good overall. I'm uh, just going to go for another one, and this should be able to knock out Amapom. He goes for Protect for no apparent reason. And uh, just going to go for another one right here. We are faster with the Scarf. And he actually lives, so uh, we might go down here. Uh, as we do not, he has less resort, but he's not able to kill us. And superpower is going to take out Amapom, and there we go. So, uh, obviously that's not going to count as the first game, we were able to get points there, sorry you guys had to watch that. But uh, that's pretty much the power of Tyrantrum, it just hits and kills, hits and kills. So you guys are hopefully going to see that in, uh, in the games that we will get in a second. But I'm going to pause until we actually get real games where my opponent has six Pokemon and not two, and uh, we'll be right back. Alright, and we got one guys, and this one's a lot more of a serious team. Uh, it's got a Quillfish, which is a little bit annoying actually, because it walls... Pretty much uh, 5 out of 6 of my team. It obviously can't take a Bandit Head Smash, but he has other answers for that, such as Flygon and Virizion. But anyway, um, let's see here. What do I want to lead with? Uh, I don't see a good anti-lead for a Scavalier, so I'm going to lead with a Scavalier here. See what he wants to do. 
He leads with Quillfish, so good on his part. I'm just gonna go for a knockoff, get rid of this thing's item as he goes for spikes. He obviously sees that we don't have any kind of hazard removal on the team, so I'm going to hit up Tyrantrum as soon as possible, right here. And uh, he's gonna go for spikes, and we are going to get a kill right now as we miss Head Smash. Okay, well that's the one downfall of Head Smash is that it actually misses. So um, this is banded though, so it should still do a lot to no matter what comes in, be it Flygon, be it Granbull. Doesn't really matter. This thing is is taking something out. Uh, this guy thought that Tyrantrum was banned, but he was wrong, and uh, I think it should have been banned because it can't hit Head Smashes if its life depended on it. Finally, we get rid of Quillfish, but he was able to get up three layers of spikes, uh, consequentially. Hopefully, we'll be able to work around that. It's going to be a little bit difficult, but I do have Wish Passing on this team, so it's not the end of the world. He's going to bring in his Verizion. I think his Cavalier can take a close combat at plus two. Uh, I'm not sure, though. Let me get my Andy Dandy Calic over here. Uh, Verizion. Swords Dance versus his Cavalier. Are you a Salt Vest? Uh, so, no, we cannot take two, actually. Um, okay, so Yuxi's my switch here. I'm just gonna bring it in. He's gonna go for Focus Blast, so he's a special set. That's great. We're gonna be able to T-Wave something right here. Or I can just get up my rocks. Uh, I think that might be the better play. He's probably gonna go into his Drapion, though. Um, that's fine, though. I'm just gonna get up my rocks. He's gonna go into his Drapion. I'm gonna T-Wave this. Uh, we might be faster. I'm not 100% sure if this thing runs max speed or not. But we do end up getting the paralysis on it. He's going to go for taunt, so that's fine. And now we can just U-turn out. Hopefully he doesn't pursue trap us here. That would hurt. We are max defense, though, so we should be okay. And I'm just going to go Alamomola here. going to be fine going into that. And he gets fully parried on this turn. A little unfortunate for him. Now what I can do is actually go for a wish. And on the following turn, switch into... Oh, that's not good. Hold on a second. Um... No, I'm just going to stay in and Scald and weaken this thing. Uh, that does nothing. So, yeah. Okay, well, luckily he goes for another layer of Spike, which is actually uh, better for me that he has two Toxic Spikes up. He's going to go for Whirlwind right here. Uh, he's going to catch a Scavalier, but a Scavalier doesn't get affected by the Toxic, so this is fine. I can actually just fire off a Megahorn, uh, Megahorn and get off a lot of damage on this thing as he's going to Whirlwind me again. Get me an Alamomola. He's going to end up Toxicing us. But I can just throw off another wish if he wants to whirlwind again. Something is going to catch my wish. And uh, it's going to be our Scavalier, which is amazing because it's going to go right back up to full <coughs> after we Mega Horn. So down goes the Drapion. A Scavalier is at full. And we still have a full team of six. He is down to four. We should be good to take this one. Um, Flygon is not threatening at all. I'm just going to knock this thing off. He's going to go for Fire Punch. So I actually didn't expect that. I didn't know this thing ran that. Uh, but we're gonna get rid of his choice scarf right here, and he has no reason not to fire punch again But I'm actually gonna keep this as a sack. I don't want to lose it necessarily right away Our Tyrantrum wins at this point, so I'm gonna go into Yuxi What I'm expecting to be uh, well, I wasn't expecting earthquake. That's for sure I thought he would just go for a u-turn or another fire punch, but he ends up going for that uh, I'm just gonna side shock right here. He was choice scarf, so he should be jolly and faster than us but Psyshock is going to hit everything on his team for a good amount of damage, and including this Flygon right here in front of us. He's likely actually going to choose to switch out into his Gramble, so not exactly sure why. He's going to do 18%, that's a good amount. And uh, we're just going to go for another T-Wave right here. Paralyze this thing as well. He's going to go for a T-Wave of his own, that's not a problem. I don't mind this thing being Thunder Waved. And I think here is where I sack my Scavalier. Uh, I think he left. We're gonna go for mod join right here because I don't like people coming back after 50 seconds. And uh, so that's that should be a win right there. Not sure why he left. He had five spikes up, but uh, we were pretty geared toward winning that game from that point on. As soon as we got rid of Gramble, we just had to, uh, to spam Outrage with Tyrantrum and we pretty much won. But... Uh, that's okay, so uh, in case uh, he does come back, I'm just going to pause it and wait until we get another one, guys. Alright, guys, so he did actually end up coming back, and uh, he got full parrot on that turn. We ended up sacking our Scavalier. I had to click it again, but that's what we did. And uh, now, now I don't see a switch into Embor. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it to it. Get that Flare Blitz. Should be able to knock out Granbull because he's not intimidated us yet. 
and uh, down goes the Grand Bull. And like we said before, I actually uh, paused. Uh, we should be able to sweep with Tyrantrum's um, Outrage. He still does have the Glalie, and I actually want to calculate how much Glalie can do to me with a nice shard. Let's see. Tyrantrum, Choice Scarf, Ice Shard does 35 to 41, so we have to be careful about that. His Glalie comes out right away. So, let's see here. Do I just stay in? Yeah, I have no reason not to stay in, actually. As he goes for an Earthquake, which is fine. And now I'm going to... Do I want to go into my own Glalie? Um... Again, I just went with Tyrantrum, and if not, then my own Glalie can spam Ice Shard as well. So I'm okay on that front. I do have to keep Tyrantrum alive, though, because of the Verizion. So I'm gonna go into Tyrantrum here. And... Do I have a play outside of Head Smashing right here? I think I have to go for Outrage. The problem is... Well, we knocked off his Scarf, so that's okay. The problem is... I'm gonna be locked into it. And he can sack his Flygon, and that's what I was afraid of. Because now I can't switch out, and I'm taking poison damage. Luckily, the first turn was only 6%, and this is why I said I was happy that he got up two layers earlier. Um, Ice Shard doesn't kill me, and I can go for another Outrage here and take out his Glalie. Now, his Verizion can come in. Oh, wait, we lived. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. We can just Outrage this thing as well, and then finish it off with an Ice Shard, so that should be good for the first game. Gonna knock out the Verizion on this turn right here. Go for the Ice Shard. And that should be the end of that, finally. Uh, I don't know how he got back in with the mod join. I actually don't know how to do it, but... Uh, I know that mod join hides the room if you, like, close your browser, but... So we're able to pick up a win right there, and uh, it should be a little bit difficult finding another game. Never mind. All right. Well, I'm, always, I'm always proven wrong by Showdown, so thank you, Showdown. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. And uh, this guy's extremely glaily weak. Extremely glaily weak. He has, like, one, two three, four, four Pokemon that just go straight down to Glalie, so I really can't lead a Scavalier here because of the threat of Typhlosion. However, Typhlosion doesn't typically have anything to touch uh, Alamomola. So, I can lead with... I'm gonna lead Yuxi. It's my best lead. As he leads with Ampom, so that's fine. We are fully physically defensive, so we should be able to take any one hit. And just get up our rocks as he goes for a fake out that does absolutely nothing after the leftovers. And we'll be able to get up our rocks right here. He goes for a Thunder Wave. Uh, good play, I guess. Amapom doesn't typically run Thunder Wave, but I guess that's, uh, that's a possibility. Goes for a U-turn. Does a little bit more than his fake out. Still not too much. And we're going to be able to Thunder Wave somebody, uh, something right here. I'm hoping for either the Glade or the Typhlosion, but that's very unlikely. Never mind. Okay, so Glade it is. I guess he wanted to get that uh, status. He actually was Lum. Uh, I'm tempted to Thunder Wave again, but then I think I can lose to a Swords Dance variant if I get fully parried, so maybe not the best play. Um, but I kind of have to. I don't have another play. He goes for x right here. Doesn't do too much. And we are able to Thunder Wave him that time. And uh, here I'm pretty free to go into Alamomola. And just uh, take the X's or no problem. Go for a wish and pass it off to whatever I choose. That's why Alamomola is so good, is because, especially with this combination of, uh, of members on the team, he's actually going to lower his own defense, which is very good for us. As here, his most likely switch would be into Tangrowth, I believe. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go into Scavalier. As he goes for a Zen Headbutt, which does absolutely nothing. And Megahorn should be able to take him out with the lower defenses. If he chooses to go into Togetic. Um, no, that's fine. I could just fire off a Megahorn here, and we are able to take out the Glade. And Scavalier is extremely strong, guys. Look at that attack. 385. That's uh, that's pretty nuts. And uh, he's going to bring in his Typhlosion. I have a pretty good Typhlosion check in Tyrantrum. And um, he's going to go for Flamethrower, that's quad resisted, and we can throw out a big head smash here. You guys saw earlier, it can miss, but I have to uh, chance it. He actually isn't scarfed, he has Protect on his set for some reason, but 
this head, sh head smash should be able to take out just about anything except maybe defensive tank growth, but it definitely can't take two. So we're pretty good here. He goes into Togetic, that's definitely going down. And uh, he gave us two chances to hit there as well, which is nice. And we are able to knock out the Togetic. And he brings in his Tangrowth, which is, of course, a threat to this. Uh, however, it doesn't really touch Embor. I'd rather go into Yuxi, though, first, in case he wants to sleep out or something. He goes for Earthquake, actually, so that ends up working out for us. And I can just throw off another th uh, Thunder Wave right here, slow something down or paralyze something uh, indefinitely. He's going to go for Seed Bomb. That's actually going to do quite a bit. This seems to be offensive Tangrowth. And we get a pair off on that, and we can now go for the U-turn. And I very much doubt he'd go for Sleep Powder right here, so I'm going straight into my Embor. I have to be very weary of going for a Fire move, however, because he does have the Typhlosion. So I'm just going to fire off a Super Power right here. And he's actually going to stay in, which is uh, a bit crazy, but goes for Earthquake because it's going to knock us out. And now I can just go right back out in a Scavalier and get a kill. So... I uh, don't think Typhlosion takes... Well, maybe. Maybe that variant. Yeah, I'm just gonna fire off a Mega Horn. He never wanted to switch out his Tangrowth for some reason. Don't know exactly why, but... Uh, he knows that he can't just go for a Fire move for free. So, I don't see him going for it. As a result... Um, I'm not gonna stay in, that's for sure, because the Scavalier goes straight down to whatever Fire move he throws out. But I can go into Alamola here. And uh, just get a Toxic off on something. That Flamethrower actually does a lot more than I expected it to. What is a Resist? Uh, just gonna Toxic here. He's gonna go for Hidden Power, so he does have coverage for us. I'm assuming Hidden Power Grass. He is actually Lum as well on his Typhlosion. Okay. Well, I'm just going to Protect right here on his next Hidden Power Grass. We are going to switch out into Tyrantrum. As that does not hit us for super effective. It's actually resisted, so it's electric. It has to be electric. Uh, yeah, because uh, grass would be neutral. So now we can just throw out another head smash right here. Should be able to take out the amp pump, no problem. Goodbye. And uh, Tyrantrum pretty much cleans up again. I think it's going to get the thumbnail on its own. You guys would already know that by now, but uh, we'll see what happens in the third game. Uh, just going to go for another head smash right here. We are going to be able to knock out the Jellicent. This thing is just pure pure power. If you like, Look at this move. It's base 150. It's ridiculous. Goes for protect. He's going to try to what stall out my head smashes. That's not going to work. So uh, able to take out the Typhlosion right there. We still had Glalie in the back to be able to deal with it. Uh, be able to ice shard and stuff. We had Alamomola to go for. We had the regenerator, so we got back HP. And we would have been able to go for a Scald and knock him out anyway. So, even if we missed there, we were pretty much good. So, uh, we're going to move into our third game. I'll pause it until we get one, guys. We actually got this one immediately, which is really nice. This guy has a very, very, very threatening team, actually. Uh, he's got big threats like Jolteon, walls like Blastoise and Deancey. Those are all things that we've used before on the channel. Uh, the Trevenant is not too big of a deal because we have a Scavalier. Don't really want a Scavalier to get burned though, so could be an issue. Uh, again, I don't see too many Head Smash switch-ins, probably Deancey being the best one. But um, do I just want to lead with Tyrantrum? Um, no, I'd rather lead with Yuxi and get up my rocks as soon as possible. I think it's my best play. He doesn't have anything that Oko's Yuxi either, so uh, maybe uh, Choice Bandage Trevenant or... <laughs> Choice banded uh, Drapion, but other than that, we're pretty much good. He does lead with his Jolteon, so Signal Beam would do quite a bit of damage. And we can't really go for... Um... Do I want to switch out on his Signal Beam? Kind of. No, I'm just going to go for Rocks. He's going to Volt Switch anyway, so we're good. He gets a crit there. Not too big of a deal. We're, uh, we still have a lot of health, so... Just going to get up these Rocks right now. If he chooses to go into Blastoise, I will U-turn out immediately and hit up something probably a scavalier on his blastoise we can do a lot of damage to that so mega horn is just a very very strong move problem is it's inaccurate so uh he's gonna bring in his uh, drapion right here and i'm just gonna go for the thunder wave i can't really ever switch out on this thing immediately because it does have pursuit uh now i can u-turn and uh he's gonna go for the knockoff he's gonna get another crit and knock us out there not a huge deal um, now Tyrantrum gets a kill. Go into that, hit a head smash. Yep, yeah, pretty much. Uh, just gonna hit head smash. Should be able to knock this thing out. As no, actually, it's a lot bulk bulkier than I expected it to be. But uh, we still have our Tyrantrum here. Just gonna go for another head smash. Obviously, he can't switch out on me. He can't go into anything, so 
He's got a... He's got a hope that I miss, which I could. I very well could, and if I lose my Tyrantrum, I could potentially lose the game, but... It's the risks we take playing Pokemon. Having 80% accurate moves. That's, uh, that's what happens sometimes, but... He's actually gonna switch out into his Blastoise. Um... On my miss, okay. Well, I guess he predicted the miss there. Uh, gonna go into, uh, Alamomolo on this thing. He can spin for free now, unfortunately. But we are going to be able to toxic something on his team, which is nice. Uh, he's actually gonna toxic us as well, and I'm gonna go for a wish right here. He doesn't really have anything that he can do to me right now. He would have to switch here. I'm just gonna go for the wish, uh, and his Jolteon comes in, which is what I was expecting. I can go into a Scavalier here. The only problem is the Fletch. Fletch is an issue now that Tyrantrum's weakened. Tyrantrum can take anyone hit from this, though. He could predict it and go for HP Ice. Does it take me out? Jolteon. Jolteon. Are you all out attacking? Not with a Life Orb, though. Okay, HP Ice does quite a bit. So, I think Thunderbolt might even knock me out, so i got to be very careful about this. Um, I think a Scavalier is my play. As he goes for the Volt Switch. So we would have been able to bring in Tyrantrum there, but it's fine. His Cavalier comes in at full. I can't really stay in on his Fletch. Uh, potentially just Will-O-Wisps me and ends me. Uh, but he actually chooses to go into his Trevenant. Interesting. So he's going to Will-O-Wisp me with this. I'm just going to go into my Ambor here and pick up a kill, basically. As he goes for Sub, actually. Okay. Uh, very interesting. Just going to Flare Blitz this thing. This is going to go for an Earthquake. Okay. Did not see that coming. Um, well, this is going to be a much tougher game than I expected. I'm going to hit a Scavalier right here. I'm not going to go for another Blitz because he has the Deancey in the back. So I didn't even know this thing got Earthquake. That's pretty wild. Uh, I'm going to go into the Scavalier expecting his Deancey as he actually brings in his Drapion. So not uh, not what I wanted to see, but. Gonna be able to take this thing out with a... Iron Head should be able to do the job. Now I'm doubting myself because of the Head Smash damage from before. Well, this is about half of Head Smash's damage and that did... Yeah, it should be good with Iron Head. It goes for a knockoff, gets rid of the Assault Vest, and now our Scavalier is on a timer, obviously. The Trevenant didn't seem to want to burn a Scavalier. So I'm just gonna go for a knockoff right here as he's likely... he likely doesn't have any coverage for us. Uh, he actually misses Willow, so it's about time we get uh, some luck in our favor. As we, uh... what happened in this game? Let's see here. We got a crit on knockoff. We missed the head smash on the Blastoise, which we would have more than likely to hit KO'd. He actually brings in his Blastoise here. A little strange. Um, Tyrandrum definitely goes down to a Scald. I'm just going to Mega Horn this thing. Do I need this? I have to think about this for a second. I kind of need this for Deancey. So I gotta weigh my options here. I could, in theory, sack Embor, because it doesn't do anything anymore. It only comes in on Deancey. Which this thing does as well. Yeah, I'm gonna sack Embor right here. As he goes for the Skull, that's fine. I think I'm gonna bring in Glalie. I'm not sure though. Yeah, like, Glalie's my play. 100% of the time. And basically what I wanna do is, uh, I wanna start spike stacking. If he stays in to Scald me, that's not a great play because I could freeze dry him right now. As he actually does stay in, uh, he's going to go for the Scald right here, and he's not going to get a burn, luckily. I'm going to go for Freeze Drive right here, and weaken him on his spin, on, on his potential spin. Uh, this should do a lot. It does 46%, which puts him in range of the next one. And uh, we're going to end up with a Spike no matter what. Uh, well, unless he keeps Rapid Spinning, which he does, and that's fine. And do I want this thing to take any more damage, or can I just switch into Alamomola here? I could. Um, yeah, well, Rapid Spin's doing 5%, so yeah, I'd rather switch an Alamola here. As he goes for another one, that's fine. And uh, the Toxic takes out his Blastoise, so now we can definitely set up spikes. 
Is Fletch is the only thing that's worrying me. I don't know how well it actually... It's very, very frail. I don't know how well it takes... Um, Scald from Aloe. Alamola. OU. Well, are you defensive? Scald does 44, 45 to 54. That's coming off of 40 special attacks. So that's just that just goes to show you how frail his, uh, his Fletchender is. But here he brings in his Jolteon. And at this point, I think I'm just going to sack my Glalie. Like I said before, I need a Scavalier for his Deancey to be able to knock it out. I could also do it with Alamola, but Deancey is extremely bulky comparative to, uh, to Fletchender. So I have to go Glalie here on his Thunderbolt. Let it go down. And now I can bring in Tyrantrum. And I'm curious, how much does Head Smash do to Deancey? Deancey, are you specially defensive, let's say, versus Tyrantrum? Tyrantrum, Scarf, where are you? There you are. Head Smash does 53 to 63. Uh, he's actually Scarfed uh, Jolteon. So that's a little bit of an issue. And he gets a crit on the Thunderbolt. I'm pretty sure it didn't matter because of the Calyx that we ran, ran before. However, those were on Life Orb. So yeah, that definitely mattered. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Mega Horn right here as he goes for a T-Bolt. He gets another crit. So we get crit twice and uh, that's pretty much going to finish off the game. And uh, yeah, so it was a very unlucky game for us right there. Uh, he even says wow. And I'll drop a GG for him, even though I don't mean it. But uh, a little bit annoyed by that game. Uh, definitely got lucked out. Uh, but uh, the team is, is very solid. He played well. I can't take that away from him. That's not in his control that he gets hacks. But uh, it's a little bit annoying sometimes. It does happen. Luckily, it's not as often as uh, some people. And uh, we're able to come out with two wins and one loss in most of our episodes, as you guys see. But um, it's still annoying to have that happen from time to time. It's, uh, it's the game we play, though. If, uh, if there was no RNG, then there could literally be somebody at the very top forever, and they would never lose if they were just that good. But luck, uh, luck is a good part of uh, pretty much any game that anybody plays. Uh, you can't have a game without luck. So, If you guys enjoyed this live, uh, hit that like button down below. If you want to know more about the sets, uh, hit me up in the comments on my Twitter as well, which is in the description. Subscribe if you want to see more of these videos, of course, as always. Uh, you get them in your sub box. I have a uh, fixed schedule. RU is pretty much, is usually Wednesdays. Uh, I'm going to eventually switch it up to NU as well and PU, guys. Uh, I want to learn the other tiers. And um, I'm going to run out of Pokemon to use in RU. And I don't wanna always want to use the same stuff. So definitely want to check out the other tiers. Maybe uh, eventually do a road to top 10 uh, or something of the sort. Or try to get into top 100 in one of those tiers that I've never played before. So, yeah, if, if you want to see that, if you want to see any of the videos coming up, subscribe. And uh, thanks again for watching, guys. Ciao.